if you're a contractor and you've ever had a client be they commercial or residential ask you for a certificate of insurance it's very likely that they've also asked you for primary and non-contributory language today we're going to explain what that means hi Ryan Hanley here, founder of Rogue Risk, where we do insurance differently, specifically by giving you knowledge and information to make the right insurance decision. Now, primary non-contributory endorsement onto your policy, which provides that language to an additional insured that ultimately goes onto a certificate, is a gamble on your part if you decide to provide that to a client. Now, I get it clients holding you hostage for payment. They tell you if you don't put this language on the certificate, they're not going to pay you for the job. It can be a huge hassle, but it's important. It's very important that you understand what you are agreeing to when you put primary non-contributory language on your certificate. And that is essentially that your policy is going to be first and that if there is shared liability, you're, you are not going to seek a contribution from your client's insurance policy. So that means you're taking the full brunt of a loss in the event that there would have been a shared contribution. So your policy is primary and you are not going to look for any contribution from your client's policy. So how does this impact you long term? Well, if you don't have a loss, there's no impact. It's just words on a piece of paper. But if there is a loss, now let's say a loss that maybe would have been split 50-50, meaning your policy would have responded to 50% of the loss and the client's policy would have responded to 50% of the loss. In, in an event such as that, you now are taking on the full, the full loss. So you're going to have to bear the insurance burden long term of having a claim that's substantially larger than it would have been if you didn't have that language on the policy. So that can mean losing a uh, status with a preferred carrier. It can mean having to go excess lines. It can just mean a higher renewal year over year, which is impacting your bottom line. So it's important when you're thinking about endorsements such as primary non-contributory. Another one that can have ramifications that we did a separate video on is waiver of subrogation. Um, these types of endorsements, which basically grant additional rights to the certificate holder, not to you, kind of taking rights away from you and, and granting them to the certificate holder uh, in, in a broad stroke, um, they have an impact, uh, especially when there's a loss. So you want to be very careful with which clients you are willing to grant these rights to. And again, you also have to get approval through the insurance company. Not all companies will write primary non-contributory or waiver of subrogation, and they must be endorsed onto your policy in order for you to add them. You can't just add them willy-nilly. So if you have questions about certificates, we process a lot of certificates through our office. Uh, if you have questions about getting certificates out, if you have questions about your contracting insurance policy, uh, questions about workers' compensation, uh, if you operate a contracting business, we would love to work with you. GCs, artisans, all the way down to just kind of handyman, odd job uh, individuals, we can work with all of you to get you squared away, and we're happy to do so. 518-960-6600. That's 518-960-6600. You can visit us online at roguerisk.com. Email us, go rogue at roguerisk.com, or I'm sure there's a link or form somewhere around this video that you can contact us with. Whichever way you choose, we look forward to working with you.